Hello everyone, welcome back to Boxer Gaming to another tutorial for Feed the Beast and specifically Industrial Craft. So in this series we're going to go very very quickly through Industrial Craft, one item at a time, three four minute videos maximum. So let's get started right away. Now the, this time we're going to do the bat box. Now the bat box is the main way uh, of storing low tier energy. So with low tier energy I just mean a low volume of energy in Industrial Craft. So let's get started. If you haven't seen my previous episode on how to make a generator, I'm just going to go through this very quickly. Don't worry, it's not going to take more than about 30 seconds. So the way you start is having a rubber tree like this. You see these little patches on it. You use a tree tap to mine these. You just right click on them. Uh, and then you get this thing, sticky resin. You put that in a furnace and you'll, you'll get rubber, which you can see here, these little black things. Now you're also going to need refined iron and all you do for that is put some iron ingots in a furnace and it'll make sure you refined iron, very simple. <clears throat> After that you want to make copper cables. Copper cables are used in pretty much every single machine you can think of in an industrial craft so you're going to be making a lot of these. <laughs> so all you do for that is have six rubber, three copper ingots like that and you make six cables. Perfect. Then we go on to make a battery. This is very important because we need three of them for the bat box. So we need some tin ingots, redstone, a copper cable, and ta-da, that will be your battery. And the last thing that we actually don't need so we don't have to worry about it. So recipe for the bat box, very simple. Five wooden planks, three batteries, and one cable. Very, very simple. And it will make you one of these bat boxes. I've got a lot of them on me. <laughs> um, but this will make you a bat box. So let's go see how this works. So I showed you before how this generator was hooked up here. I've got, it's got some coal in it. Its internal buffer is completely full, so it's not doing anything, it's waiting. Now this copper cable will transform, um, transport the power from the generator into whatever we attach to it. So let's attach this bat box. And you can see the power level is now going up. Pretty neat, isn't it? Uh, that's what I thought. Now it stores 40,000, which is a fair amount. If you just want to hook up a macerator or two, this is going to last a long time if this is full. Now, important to note is that the output of a bat box is 32 EU, which means that it can directly be connected to any machine. They will not explode, which is pretty neat. Um, the other thing you might notice is that you have two slots here. Now, these are for batteries or per, uh, sort of like portable energy storage devices, like a battery. It's the low tier one. So what you do is you put it in the bottom if you have it a full battery. If you want to charge a battery, you put it in the top. And as you can see, it started to charge. So now it's full. If you want to, or almost full, if you want to discharge it, just put it in there. And you can see that this is going down and it's um, putting all these EU it had stored in it into the bat box. Pretty neat, isn't it? Now, uh, on the placement of bat boxes, uh, right here, you see this little dot on the face of it. That dot is only on one side. So, of course, a bat box is like any other block in Minecraft, has six sides. Um, and only one side is the output. The other sides are input. So, you could put the generator like this. You could hook the generator up like that. It doesn't matter. Every, it'll accept power from every single side except for the output with a dot on it. So, this is where you want to connect your machines to. Of course, you can branch out to connect multiple machines. Not a problem. There's one other thing on the bat box, and that is this little button here with a redstone on it. Now, that will determine what happens when you supply the bat box with, with a redstone signal. So if you click once, it says emit to full. If you click twice, emit if partially filled. Now you can go through these. They're very, exp um, they're very simple to explain, really. Um, the easiest to explain, of course, the redstone behavior. Do not output energy. So if we now put a redstone torch behind it, it will not give any power to any machine that's connected to it and there's a lot of these options and and you can just read them and do not output energy on it's full so it'll wait till it's full and then it'll output energy it's very simple to follow so that is the bat box in four minutes and about 20 seconds thanks for watching guys and i will see you next time